Your turn, Phoebe. It's almost empty. And one more. Welcome to Love You, Toy Love You. Please click on the subscribe button. balls, three test tubes, three steering spoon, steering sticks, uh, eyedropper, goggles, and removable experiment tray, and much, much more. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Okay, let's open it up. Whoops, whoops. Ooh. Oh, I spilled some stuff. Okay, let's open it up. So we won't be setting it up.
three drops. Three of the blue and three of the pink. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's have Ross and do one more. Okay, just three drops, Ross, and okay? One. <laughs> okay, one more. That's good. Good job. It's down. And then we would put our pressure gauge. It's my turn. Okay, this is the pressure gauge. We'll put it there. And the other one is in here. And I have to steal it? Not yet, not yet. Are your goggles on? Yes. And then turn the wheel to watch the air move the ball. You've got air pressure. Turn the wheel faster to watch the bubbles multiply and pressure gauge increases. So the ball needs to go up. Oh, there, there's the bubbles. Oh, make some bubbles again. Some bubbles. See, by turning this, we're making bubbles. How how does that happen? Because the air is blowing bubbles. Good job. Good job. Yeah, we're blowing air towards this gauge and to to the back. It's for the pressure. We we'll do the circuit center. So we need anything. Around the house, like a book, banana, shoes, pencil, teddy bear, any kind of toys. Teddy bear. Okay, that's too big. We'll probably just do a small one. We can try it with our fingers too. Yeah, we can try it with Spider-Man over there. Spider-Man? Is that Spider-Man, the purple one? No, no, this is Venom. Oh, it's Venom. See, if we leave it there like that and press it, it won't light up, right? So we need to do a continuous circuit. So you can try it with your fingers. Try, and then one more. What? Can you try hooking this two up? Okay. You wanna try it, Rossi? Yeah. Okay, with your finger. And another finger. What? Do you know why that happens? Why does that happen? Yeah, because because your body is considered a conductor. Are you a conductor? Yeah. You're a conductor. Do you want to do it, Rosset, and hold at the stand? What? How about me? Let's let's hold hands. What? Okay, try something else. How about a plastic one? Let's try it with this one. What do you guys think? Would it light up? Yes. Uh, what is uh, uh. what is that one? No, it's yeah. a plastic thing. Well, but it's made of plastic, right? Yeah, that's why I think plastic is not a conductor. So we need something that is a conductor, like us. Let's try an aluminum foil. <gasps> okay, I have some aluminum foil. Let's see if this would do the trick, okay? Okay, so you do one trick anywhere. What? <laughs> Let's try a banana. Let's try the banana. What? It did? Yeah. Really? So banana is a conductor? Uh-huh. Okay. Awesome. How about this one? A plastic one again. Let's try if a plastic one will... <laughs> no! So plastic one is not a conductor. Yeah, but this one is... What else? Oh, you try it. Metals, metals are good conductors of electricity. Metals 
And, but plastics are not. Water is, that's why your, your body is a good conductor because of the water inside it. Okay, so we'll try it with metal chopsticks and wood chopsticks. So, you want to try it with the metal? Because you're holding it. Even if we'll just do one of each. Which one? <laughs> How about wood? Do you think wood is a conductor, Phoebe? What do you think with wood? What's your guess? <coughs> okay, let's try water. Okay, so we'll try water and see if it's a, if it's a good conductor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So water is a good conductor. It is, yeah. Yeah, so water is a good conductor. See? And then if I put this... One more. Ooh. See, water is a good you conductor. You want to try it? Put it a little... Don't touch the metal. What did you get? We'll make sure we have all the ingredients. I think it's slime. Stretch. How about the other side? Measuring cup glue, baking soda spoons. Oh, we don't have saline solution. This is rain clouds. I want this one. What we will need is... We need our goggles. Where's our goggles? Right here. Uh, Rosin, where's your goggles? That way! Awesome. Our test tubes. Water? Where's our water? Behind you, Phoebe. Uh, some food coloring, but this is optional. Our beaker. Yeah, that's the beaker. Uh, shaving cream and our eyedropper. It's in here. Okay, so first, we will put water. Okay. Alright. There you go! Side. And then, we will put some food coloring. Mm. Rosin, what color would you like? I want blue. Okay, blue. You just hold it, okay? Don't put it on yet. Pink. pink. And I will do green. So it says five drops. One, two, three count. Four, five. Your turn, Phoebe. It's almost empty. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good. And then we will put water in our beaker. And we'll just put it right up to I think uh -huh. there. And then we'll put our shaving cream. Oh, well, we actually use a sa shaving gel. I didn't have a shaving cream, so we'll see if this would work. Okay, so next we will squeeze out some of this in here. Okay, I'll do uh, yeah, I'll do it first, and then oh, and then. My turn. Yeah, that's good. Okay, oh, here it is. It's coming down. Yeah, Rosan's turn. Your turn, Rosan. You want the blue one? There. There it is. That's it. That's our rain. Oh, rain clouds. Okay. The rain clouds. Yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah. So it says here yeah. that gravity is a force that can pull rain down yeah. to the ground when the raindrops are heavy enough. So it didn't. It didn't go down when it was my turn, right? Yeah. When it was just green. But when it became really heavy, it started pouring. So that's the Mommy. explanation behind it. There you go, guys. I hope you liked that video. Can, can I follow it in? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you. Toys for you. Bye! Bye. Thanks for watching our video. Bye! Click on the subscribe button.